Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercress, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. This time around, it is Mega Man 4, aka Rockman World 4, for the Game Boy. This game uses Robot Masters from Mega Man 4 and 5 for the NES. And during the annual Robot Master Expedition, Dr. Wily sends out a radio transmission that makes robots all over the place just go haywire. And Mega Man, who has somehow resisted the transmission, is able to fight off the robot masters that Dr. Wily sends out. So we got these four guys from Mega Man 4, who just showed up on screen, that we have to take on first. And then we have to take on four more robot masters from Mega Man 5, which are the only ones from Mega Man 5 to show up in the Game Boy universe. And if you let the title screen stay long enough, you do get this nifty little cutscene, which barely explains what's going on, but at the same time looks really, really cool, and I recommend watching it at least once. And the music on this isn't bad either. Also, we'll be finding out who that is soon enough. And we can either start a new game, or we can use a password, but we're going to start a new game. And as soon as you start the game, you'll be in Dr. Light's lab. Mega Man. Dr. Wily has sent his most powerful robots across the world. To combat them, I have invented a new machine to make power items for you. But to make the items, we need to use special energy items called P-Chips. Collect as many P-Chips as you can and bring them back to the lab. The more chips you collect, the better the item I can make for you. And from there, we head on to the stage select screen. We have four robot matches that we can pick from. There's Toad Man, Bright Man, Pharaoh Man, and Ring Man. All of them from Mega Man 4. And if we press select on the stage select screen, we will be able to enter Dr. Light's lab again. If you press right, you'll leave immediately. But if you press left, you'll get Dr. Light to talk to you. Mega Man, did you get the P-chips? Well, I haven't, but I might as well just show up what you can get. You can get fragments for energy cans. Four of them give you an energy can. There's a weapon can, which will refill all weapons energy. There's the energy can, or the energy tank, which is like the weapons tank from earlier, except it recovers your energy. There's the energy ba bleh. There's the energy balancer, making sure I can say the word energy right. This allows you to automatically put weapon energy into the weapon with the lowest amount of energy in it whenever you pick up a weapons power-up while you have the Mega Buster equipped. I think that's how it works. No, I think this is a refill. This is the energy balancer, and this is the extra life. Had to think about it for a moment. Might as well go ahead and press B to get out of here, and then we can press A to say, yeah, we're finished. We'll be picking up power chips along the way soon enough. For now, we need to start playing through the stages. I'm going to be doing two Robot Masters per video, as always, and I'm going to start with Toad Man. And man, the visuals just went way up since four. Anyway, you can move left and right with left and right on the D-pad. A jumps, B shoots. You can hold B to charge up the, the Mega Buster. And if you shoot a fully charged Mega Buster shot in this game, you get pushed back. Nothing that has happened before or since. It basically hasn't happened since this game. This is the only game that has the 
Mega Buster style pushback. And holding down and pressing A will allow you to slide. So let us make our way forward. Keeping in mind that the rain will push us back if we jump straight up. And be careful as we make our way across the water that will push us back like some sort of conveyor belt. Going to take a bit of a drop here. Let's go ahead and shoot down the slime with a fully charged shot. Same with the mouse. That was an energy pickup. That was another energy pickup. And that was another energy pickup. A flashing circle will be an energy pickup, while a flashing rectangle with a little flash, or rather, a rectangle with a flashing core in it will be a weapons pickup. The big ones will give you more than the small ones as far as the weapons and energy pickups are concerned. And this is a P-chip. Small ones are worth two. Big ones are worth five. And the P-chips predate the bolts from Mega Man 7 by a couple of years. Two years, as a matter of fact. And we might as well go ahead and watch out for the birds. There's a big bird as well as two smaller ones as opposed to four in the NES game. And this guy will drop down and eventually shoot his umbrella at you, but thankfully we have a fully charged shot to work with. And the giant snail pa enemy. Hit him in the eyes when the eyes are open. Four fully charged shots will do it for you. Now, if he isn't shooting his eyes at you, he will shoot bombs. You want to avoid the bombs and their resulting explosions because both of those will hurt. And there's a flashing medallion with a B on it. I want to get my hands on that. If we can get all of these medallions, we should be able to get something good. And let's go ahead and get this. And be very careful how we do things here. Make sure we shoot him down before we head on our way. And that is a big weapons pickup right there. And that is an extra life. Up here, wait for the mouse to jump to the left. Otherwise, you're getting hit on your way up. And you want to be careful with this water, too, because... The fish can get you. Thankfully, I got the fish before it could get me. Now, can I jump over to here? Yes, I can. Wanted to go over it to the platform because it made things a little easier. Now, there are things flashing in the wall here. Drop down. Hug the left wall. There's a health pickup and an extra life. Actually, no, that was an energy can. No, that was an energy can that we picked up. So if we go to the next, we can use one of our energy cans, one of our weapon cans, or tanks, if you so prefer to call them that. And you can also see the medallions you picked up. So right now, we've only picked one of eight. And I should mention that, let's just like in all the other games, at the bottom, you have your currently equipped weapon, your health, and the amount of lives you have left. Now, if you drop down here and keep haul hugging the right-hand wall, you'll get nothing here, but you can get an extra life this way. And now it's time to fight another giant slug with big beady eyes that we can also hit. And I thought maybe I'd be able to get away with that, but nope. I do want to hold right as I drop down here, though, because that does allow me to refill some of the health that I've lost. Now it's time to face Toad Man. You want to shoot him every time he lands in front of you with just a normal shot. If he does the hula dance, 
shoot him at least once, wait for him to stop flashing, and then hit him again. He will leap at you, but you can either walk away from him or walk over him. Or under him, rather. And make sure to give yourself a little bit of room so that way you can walk under him, just in case. As for that hula dance, you don't want him to completely do it because that will allow him to do this weapon that we just earned called Toad Flush, or the Rain Flush. This will allow you to hit all enemies on screen with Acid Rain. It hurts when he does it to you. Also, we just earned Rush Coil, which allows us to use a spring to get to higher areas. So yeah, just keep shooting Toad Man. Walk away from him or under him when he leaps up. If you're going to walk under him, give yourself a little bit of room. And if he does the hula dance, shoot him enough times. Like, shoot him once with, a, with the Mega Buster. Wait for him to stop flashing, hit him again, and eventually he'll leap back at you. Don't let him do that dance completely. Otherwise, you will get hit with the Rain Flash, and it's going to hurt. Not exactly the same as the NES battle, but it is still manageable. And every time you beat a Robot Master, you will get a password. And I'm actually not going to save them the whole time this time around because you have three symbols in, t in basically three letters in place of symbols for all of the characters. You have E for Eddie, you have R for Rush, and you have B for Beat. And it's all on a 4x6 grid. Which is actually pretty cool. I'm assuming this allows you to save all the stuff you've collected. Anyway, onward. And you can either go to the stage select with the A button, or you can go to the right lab with B. That's actually Dr. Light's lab. They mistranslated it when they translated this to English and brought it over to the West. We are going to go to the stage select screen for now. And... If we keep going right, we'll have all the weaknesses for the first chain of Robot Masters. So you start with Toad Man, then you go to Bright Man, then you go to Pharaoh Man, then you go to Ring Man. Also, if you pick the medallion, you'll be able to see it just like this in the stage select screen. So we, I, know, I already knew that we collected the B, but just in case I had to refresh my memory as to whether or not I did, I can just go to stage select, I can check there, I can also check in the pause menu just by going to next and seeing what downings I have. You have more than one way of doing this. And we are now going to take on Bright Man Stage. And if you've ever played... Oh, first of all, let's get that. If you've ever played... Bright Man stage, you know how this goes. Don't shoot these guys, avoid the little projectiles, shoot these guys instead. If in case you accidentally shoot one of the shoot the first guy, just shoot the second guy, you'll get the light back on. Those guys are lights off. These guys are lights on. Also avoid these projectiles and make sure they clear the floor too. Make sure they clear the screen. Now these things, if you either hit them with a charge shot or let get close enough to them those things will drop down and they'll just move back and forth and this is an energy tank fragment collect four of those you'll get an energy tank you'll be able to see how many energy tank fragments you have if you just select next anyway let us go up this ladder let us be very careful when it comes to shooting this thing down it can shoot motor shots as well as some straight shots. And by hitting that switch, just by jumping into it from underneath, we turn the lights on, but we get these cool platforms to jump on. Now, these things do move up and down a little bit. You want to watch out for the enemies that fly forward. You want to take them out when you can. And when you drop down onto this lever, you turn the lights back on. The platform from earlier will disappear, and you'll be able to go back in your merry way. Let's go ahead and shoot this enemy down. And this enemy. How am I doing on P-Chips, by the way? 42. Okay. And now for this thing. 
That's obviously what you don't do. I thought I would be able to jump there, and I didn't. I'm all the way back at the start. Are you serious? Okay, let's get that projectile off the screen there. Ah! Dropped all the way down. I didn't expect it to do that. Yeah, I am not a big fan of the checkpoints in this game. Particularly this level, too. I mean, you mess up once and you're going back quite a bit. And I need to... Well, first I need to get that, obviously. But I was about to say I need to hit the lever first before I can continue. But, yeah, getting that life back would be nice. I did lose it. And all the lives that I can get my hands on are definitely going to help. So we might as well get them. Alright, we jump on this thing. It will move forward and downward. Let's go ahead and get this. Let's get all this stuff. Let us let this move forward. Thankfully, this thing will not move forward and to the right, or forward and downward, rather, without us. So we can just ride this completely underneath the platform, and we can just get over here. Be sure to avoid the spikes as you do everything. Don't worry about shooting that thing down, because you'll be able to turn the light back on real quick once you get to the platform on the other side. Now, let's go ahead and shoot this guy down. And, hey, might as well go ahead and get that. And let's get the Mega Buster equipped back on. And let's jump into this from underneath. Let us be very careful because there will be enemies that want us messed up. A little bit. Also, these enemies are going to be a good source of pickups and power-ups so we can shoot them down on, over the platforms. And let's land here and be careful. Wait for the lights to go back on before we... I need to remember not to be very careful and not do that. <laughs> Sorry for the in insane silence there. I was just kind of freaked out that you can do that. Yeah, don't jump around willy-nilly near the switches. You will turn the lights on and off repeatedly. Also, if I can do this right... I want to shoot this down just enough. Well, you can do it that way. But you can still land there safely and still take that thing out with n uncharged shots. Which is always nice. And I'm just going to keep firing charge shots here. Thankfully, you don't lose your charge when you're hit in this game. And now it's time for this part. Which, uh, I didn't want that to happen. Th uh, that's what I get for not waiting. Well, at least I ha get to go back over here and maybe get some stuff, but still. That's still some starting over with stuff that I don't want to do. Uh, once again, I do not like these, these uh, checkpoints. They will send you back quite a bit. Especially when you don't want them to. At least I have plenty of lives to work with, which is always good. And I can buy plenty more at the... The, um... Dr. Light's lab if I need them. Also, well, anyway, these things, they go in a semicircle. Be ready to shoot. Jump up and shoot when you need to. There's the E-medallion. I want to make sure that I pick that up. Let's jump to the beach hip. That way we know that we're getting somewhere that we need to be. And somehow I managed to shoot that enemy and land here. 
and we can slide down this way. Make sure we jump to the right there. Apparently, I gotta be near you, you in order for you for to jump over there. Let's jump to the P chip. Let's get another P chip. And let us be super careful. Make sure we can get over here. Shoot down the fireworks guy. And then we can equip the rain flash, which is T.O. And face Bright Man. You want to shoot up your weapon immediately. There's, there's the light that freezes you. There's the arm cannon that Bright Man can hit you with. Make sure you don't get hit by him or the or the arm cannon. And just shoot rain flush at him four times, and he goes down. If you get frozen by Bright Man's light, you are stuck where you are after you the the, the one flash until you get hit. So using Rain Flush for this battle is essential. And by beating Bright Man, we get the Flash Stopper, which stops all on-screen enemies and lets us shoot at them with the Mega Buster. Uncharged shots only. And here is the password for all that we have done so far. And I'm going to leave it up for a couple seconds longer while I get a drink of tea. All right. Let us go to the right lab this time. Press left and see what we can do. Mega Man, did you get the P-chips? Let us see what we can get. All of your weapons will be immediately recharged. All of your weapons are already full. And you can do that for free. Now, how much is the energy balancer? With this last item, the weapon with the lowest energy level will automatically be refilled when you pick a wep pick up a weapon capsule. You need 150 P chips for this item. You don't have enough T chips. Obviously, we don't. Oh, and I forgot to talk about the the special tank. I think you can only carry one of these, but they refill both health and weapon energy. Which is nice. You can recharge your vitality and recharge all your weapons with this item. You need 120 for these. And how much is an extra life? You need 50 P chips for this item. Not gonna get that. How much is the E can? These refill all your health when you pick when you use them, obviously. You need 60 for one of these. How much for a fragment? 20. Don't need these yet, but I might as well keep this in mind anyway. You can fully recharge one of your weapons with this item. You need 30 P chips for this item. Do you want this item? No, I do not. And I'm just going to leave everything alone for now. If I need something, I'll come back here and get it. But for the moment, I have beaten two Robot Masters. And I am soon going to beat two more. And that will happen in the next video. So join me next time where we take on Pharaoh Man and Ring Man. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care. Stay safe. And thanks for watching!